data provides opportunities for products, services and systems to innovate or drive behavior change. Leon Ahmed Christensen created the D-Cubed Data-Driven Design Framework, documenting this. Leon Ahmed Christensen described data-driven design as the umbrella term. Other related terms combined big data with qualitative data. Seven key activities were identified that are data-driven design activities, called the D-Cubed Data-Driven Design DDD Framework. Planning enables data to shape business or organizational strategies, including analyzing customer preferences to predict optimal product families. Discovering rarely uses big data alone. It often combines with data from users to give context and discover user needs. Data can also be used to promote behavior changes, for example, designing intelligent products that encourage rehabilitation. Defining encompasses managing knowledge and analyzing the data gathered in the discovery phase to better understand the user. Generating involves using data to create concept ideas. Customizing entails using data to design products and services for different users. Maintaining uses data to predict product or service performance and failure. Validating uses data to support decision making, reducing uncertainty, complexity and risk throughout the product service development process. This data-driven design framework helps practitioners understand how data can be used to drive innovation.